Hello, and uh, today we will uh, take a look uh, at a card uh, log, a shopping cart log. And this is this. And uh, you probably know it from your local supermarket. It has two ends. On this end, uh, you stick a coin in. And then from this end, the next shopping cart releases. Uh, released from uh, here so the next shopping card has this bit and it goes into the slot and it's locked when you insert a coin or anything it releases so I think this should be out and I have a fake coin here but I think uh, this particular unit is broken um, so I always wondered uh, how it works and uh, this is the time to analyze it. So let's first take a look on the mounting. Um, so uh, mounting includes uh, this chain which is connected here but also this part fell out and I suspect that it goes into here uh, in order to uh, secure the last chain link with even stronger material and then uh, a bolt goes through here into the handle of the shopping cart and into here and then you can tighten it so uh, this final part over here it's sliding I guess to accommodate for several uh, width of the shopping cart handle um, and uh, basically this is how it's mounted so the first thing I want to do is to cut off uh, this and see if I can release uh, whatever is stuck here so let's dremel it Okay, so now that this is released, we can see how it works. I put uh, this in, it's stuck. Then I take this fake 5 uh, shekel coin, uh, stick it in the slot here, and it releases this, and the coin is stuck. You can take it out. Now that I put that back in, the coin can be released. Also works with the key. Okay, anyway, so I disassembled it, I removed the top casing, and now let's remove this part. Okay, so I already previously removed this, and uh, uh, we can see here uh, basically three uh, main parts. Uh, the one part is this ledge which is uh, built like a seesaw and uh, when you insert this it will push against uh, this part over here and it will lock into you know what let's let's uh, 
do it with the fake coin so uh, on this uh, part we have two latches uh, this one and this one and when I insert the coin and it's not breaking apart so uh, two things happened uh, first of all uh, this latch over here on the top side for you uh, moved uh, into the spring and released a locking mechanism in here and this allowed uh, this part to uh, to move like uh, like this and uh, really be released under under uh, the seesaw uh, part so when you here we go now it's active so now this is in the release state so this with withdrew and I can uh, remove this from here and uh, the latch um, and uh, the plastic lever uh, was previously under under this part as you can see this part rest on the plastic lever and when you insert the coin you push the plastic lever away from the seesaw part and then oh, Jesus. and then it has uh, it's under the spring tension and it, it wants to uh, go down here and enter and then when you enter the well shit and then when you enter the coin Come on, coin. This moves out of the way and this scissors down. So, a few interesting parts. So, this coin is now uh, held here by uh, this, these two uh, plastic pincers. So, you can't technically imagine there's a, something holding it like this and you, you can't pull it out well now I can but uh, usually you can't um, and when uh, when you insert this bit it will push on the lever this will uh, slide into the hole here and the coin now has enough space uh, to be uh, released okay, and this can be released so why do you need uh, these two parts here um, so uh, if you try to just move this one bit out of the way then you will see that uh, it has a tooth here that interlocks with the other plastic bit so unless you push both bits to the sides it, it, they will not move where's the fake coin so this uh, moving uh, this part out of the way releases the, the room for this lever to move out of the way and and uh, it physically blocks this part from interlocking into from uh, sorry from go sewing down and unlocking uh, uh, the latch. So what can we do to overcome the system? So ideally, you would want to defeat. Uh, this part uh, by, that will allow you to release this but I think it's also could be interesting if you have uh, something like a hook which you can slide in and simply uh, press on here let's see if I have 
let's let's track this tension tool. So let's say you slide it in here like this, then you release the coin and slide it out. So technically something like a tension tool can defeat this part of the lock. Well, thank you for watching. I hope it was interesting for you to see how this mechanism works. I couldn't find a video on the internet explaining this, so I got this. Uh, so, have a nice day!